before genocide I was still younger. From my family I lost six my brother and then I lost all this family. The most devastating circumstances can yield the most powerful forms of hope. During the 1994 genocide, many of the cyclists of Team Rwanda were small children. For 11 years, these young cyclists had lived in the aftermath of one of modern-day history's most devastating genocides. You could see how much hope the bike gave because it was their way out. In 2005, Jacques Boyer, one of the best cyclists in the world, moved to Rwanda to begin building the team. After I spent time with the riders, it really started to hit me. They've been through. Cycling is suffering. You cannot be a cyclist without going through incredible amounts of pain. Adrian is our biggest hope. Adrian Nianshuti became the first cyclist of the original five to ride professionally for one of Africa's top cycling teams. He's going to be a contender. Qualifying for the Olympics would completely change Adrian's life. Welcome the world's finest athletes. It's the tipping point where the generations to come will really be able to succeed. Team Rwanda can give them an image of where they can go. The beginning of a country that would rise from the ashes. Yeah.